Tom shot to death in front of his own house tonight. Family and friends mourning the loss of 16 year old Quentin Martin. A coworker was dropping the Alcove High School junior off after work when someone opened fire on them. Fox 5's Claire Sims is live where it all happened. And Claire, investigators don't have a lot to go on at this point. Yeah, deputies with the Newton County Sheriff's Office tell me that the two victims were sitting in a car outside of this home on Greenway Drive when the shots rang out. And at this point, they're not sure if this attack was targeted or random. I couldn't believe it because he, he, he never been in the trouble. You know, I just couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it now that he's gone. Roderick Foster can't imagine why someone would shoot and kill his son, Quentin Martin. He says the 16 year old was a good student and had a job working at a local Zaxby's, saving up to buy his own car. According to the Newton County Sheriff's Office, someone called 911 at around 11:15 Wednesday night to report shots fired on Greenway Drive. Shattered glass marks the spot where deputies found Martin and a female manager from the restaurant in her car. Both had been shot multiple times. Martin did not survive. Deputies say they are not sure at this point what happened, whether this was a drive by or whether a suspect or suspects walked up to the vehicle. And they don't know whether the shooter targeted Martin. They ask anyone who saw something to come forward. We're trying to find out, you know, who did this. This is a 16 year old male who lost his life. 16 years old. Foster says his son wanted to become a pilot, but now he'll never get that chance. It's just sensitive way though. He never have a chance to finish out his dreams or nothing. Anyone with information in this crime should contact the Newton County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. We are live in Newton County. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News. Claire,